Hey, it's Jeff Yenza from AlkalineHealth.net and I wanted to talk to you about the difference between an alkalizing breakfast and an acidifying breakfast. Now let's just take a look at the typical American acidifying breakfast which typically includes something like coffee or people even drink soda, usually something with refined white flour and sugar like donuts, cereal, sweetened cereal, bagels, uh, muffins, all that kind of stuff or even if they consume whole grains still on the acid side of the chart. Maybe less acidifying. Sure, whole grains are better than the refined white varieties which are very acidifying but they're still, it's all on the acid side of the chart. And a lot of times people consume, you know, refined oils along with these products and they end up something that's really not very healthy at all. Now in contrast, an alkalizing breakfast would be something like uh, green or white tea. You can still get caffeine, you know, have a couple extra cups of green and white tea better than a cup of coffee. Now some people, we get this question a lot, can I have a cup of coffee. I can't live without a cup of coffee. Can I still maintain alkaline balance and have a cup of coffee? And I like to have a cup of coffee myself every now and then. So what do I do? I put a little bit, about a quarter to a half a scoop of sea calcium and I take a magnesium tablet and I break it open and about a third I sprinkle it into that coffee and I stir it up. It actually turns a little bit lighter color of a brown and I've actually got buffering minerals in my coffee now so it's not quite as harmful uh, from a pH balancing acidic point of view when I consume it. And I'm going to have right along with it a vegetable blender smoothie which is very alkalizing. Probably have some uh, maybe some whey protein in there so I'm getting protein. Some fish oil so I'm getting protein, fat, vitamins, minerals, all uh, you know all the essentials of a good healthy diet that's very alkalizing. I might even have a little bit of meat. If I do, it's a small piece and it's clean. It's maybe organic or at least uh, free range and uh, doesn't have hormones and antibiotics and all that kind of stuff in it. Or a little bit of healthy fish is also okay. And as an alternative, maybe a salad instead of the vegetable blender smoothie. All these and you'll end up with a much better alkalizing breakfast solution. Hey, this is Jeff Yancer, AlkalineHealth.net. Remember, nothing we say should be considered as medical advice. Use this information at your own risk, and it is just for informational purposes only. Thanks for watching.